The world's population is projected to reach 9 billion in 2050. This will lead to an increased demand for food. The production of fish must increase significantly in order to meet the increasing demand. However, about 80% of the fish stocks of the oceans are today fully exploited, overexploited, or depleted. Therefore, a large proportion of the fish must come from aquaculture in the future. However, this does not solve the problem with decreasing fish stocks because aquaculture requires a lot of feed and uh, fish meal is in general the main protein source in fish feed. So a lot of wild fish is taken out from the oceans, grinded down into fish meal and used as feed. Most available alternative protein sources are of plant origin and they are in general not as good as fish meal, so they can only be used in limited amounts. So there is a need for new alternative protein sources and we believe that green feed is an interesting option. Uh, so the concept is to turn wood into uh, food. And as we cannot eat wood directly, we go through the route of converting uh, industrial residual streams from the forest industry and we turn them into uh, single cell proteins. And the single cell proteins can be used as a replacement for a fish meal in fish feed. And the feed can then be fed to fishes and the fishes can then of course serve as human food. So we utilize the nutrients in the residual streams to grow protein-rich microorganisms such as filamentous fungi. So in this project we produced several kilos of uh, single cell proteins in our bioreactor from uh, industrial residual streams that uh, we collected from uh, a local biorefinery. We uh, then sent the single cell proteins to uh, our Icelandic uh, project partners, Matis and to SMEs. They then uh, performed a feeding test on uh, the fish tilapia. So we were very pleased with the result because uh, it showed that uh, fish feed containing our single cell protein gave a similar or even a bit better growth of uh, the fish compared to uh, a fish meal based control feed. We have now also verified the concept at demonstration scale. We performed an upscale experiment in the Swedish biorefinery demo plant, which is a demo facility for uh, industrial biotechnology. In this experiment, we successfully carried out production of our single cell protein in a 10 cubic meter bioreactor at semi-continuous mode for a couple of weeks. I think this is a very good example of cross-sectorial innovation solving real societal challenges. We now aim for full-scale production in a wood-based biorefinery. So, next time you guys go shopping, look for our fishes on the market.